Hi everybody, and welcome to this Scalar training. My name is Joel Mora, and I'm a technical account manager here at Scalar, and I'm here to talk to you today about the Event Hub Monitor. So the concepts of monitors are a really useful concept within Scalar, and what that's going to allow you to do is grab at data from various endpoints um, where data may not be so easy to uh, grab by like in a traditional way, like by installing an agent. Um, so uh, this is for all of the Azure admins out there who are looking to bring in Azure logs um, into Scalar. So let's get into kind of what we're gonna be talking about. So first of all, um, if we take a look here um, at the solution, we can see that uh, what we're doing is basically sending data from um, any Azure service that supports diagnostic logs. Um, you set up the diagnostic logs, it will forward each event to Event Hub, and then you set up the scalar monitor to basically just monitor Event Hub. So it's a dead simple setup within Scalar. Um, the only piece that you have to really set up yourself is the Azure side. So this tutorial is not on the Azure side, but I am going to show you the actual uh, configuration, but it's not a tutorial on getting things working in Azure. Um, so if we move into um, our Azure setup here, um, we can take a look just a little bit about uh, what we have going on. Um, so the first thing that we have um, is an event hub here. So first of all, it's an event hub namespace. And then within the event hub namespace, we have um, different event hubs. Um, so we created an event hub named test. And here we can see events that are coming through this event hub here. Um, these events are coming directly from um, just in this case uh, AAD here. Um, so if you go into Azure Active Directory um, and then you scroll down to diagnostic settings, um, you can create a, a new diagnostic setting and I've created one earlier. And what this diagnostic setting does is it allows you to select the logs that you want to send and then um, set a destination. So the destination is gonna be the event hub that we were just looking at. Um, so this is the namespace, and then this is the actual event hub that we're sending it to. Um, so now data is going to stream um, from here to event hub, and then now the next piece that we're gonna do is we're gonna set up the scalar side, which is uh, dead simple. Um, if you take a look at the solution here, Um, basically, all you're going to do is you're going to take this config here, and then we're going to just paste this into the monitor section in Scalar. So if we go back to the monitor, if we go to our Scalar account, um, just in our demo environment, and then I um, click here and go into monitors, and then I edit the JSON. Um, a new uh, an account without any monitors configured is just going to have an empty monitors array here. So if I just paste my config um, into the monitors array, um, all I'm gonna do is just replace these values with uh, my Azure values. So first of all, we have the event hub name, um, which in this case uh, is test here. Um, so we'll just take that event hub name and we'll set that as test. And then for the namespace, um, this is the uh, namespace right here. And we're just going to paste that in here. You can also get this full string um, directly here. If you go back to the namespace, if you go to overview, you can pull this host name string here. Um, and then the other piece is we're going to get a shared access key and a shared access key name. And what we do for that is we just go into the event hub namespace. We click into the shared access policies. And then we're gonna create a new policy with listen permissions. Um, I already created one and I named it scalar-policy here. Um, so it's listen permissions and then it basically gives you a key here. 
So um, all of the valuable information we need is um, just right here in this connection string, but basically we're just grabbing the primary key. And that's the shared access key. And then um, we're gonna take the shared access key name as just so it's just whatever you uh, named it. You could also find the name in this string here. But in this case, it's a scalar dash policy. And that's basically it. That's all you do to set up the Azure um, piece. You save that. And then now what we're gonna do is let's uh, just generate some um, Azure Active Directory logs. So I'm just going to um, sign out here. So now that that's all configured, the last thing that we're gonna do is we're just going to access our logs that we just wrote. So if you just open up a scalar search page and then you just type in event hub, you'll notice the logs that we just generated. So that's Azure Event Hub Monitor. If there are any questions, feel free to reach out to support at scalar.com. My name is Joel Mora and thanks for watching.